Okay, so I'm responding to Jake Fried's video um, about the um, Democratic People's Republic of the Congo and the mining. Um, and I thought it was definitely thought-provoking that Jake took the position of intervening, actually harming the situation, because I thought that um, it was the other way around. That was my argument. Um, I thought that he did make some good points, um, especially pertaining to the definition of what conflict-free mining is, but I didn't love the way that he corresponded his answer to his example. Um, he said that companies have gone elsewhere to obtain the resources that they need, but this doesn't really take into account the fact that this wouldn't fix the actual problem of, you know, conflicted mines and rebel groups taking over those mines, um, exploiting labor, things like that. Um, and it actually may make it worse because these mines will, in addition, be crippled economically if the U.S. and companies in the U.S., such as Intel, take their, um, you know, their mining to other countries. This would actually hurt these mines even more. Um, and the fact that these companies have gone elsewhere and that they've used untagged materials um, it's a fact, but it's not necessarily peace building nor a solution um, that's devised by way of peace building. And so there's going to be no actual progress um, in the area of improving conflicted minds um, using Jake's argument that we should kind of divest from those and go elsewhere. At least that was what it seemed like he was he was going at. Um, I think it was strong in general um, when he made in analyzing the short term social and economic benefits, but I think that he lacked. Um, and that it didn't accurately consider the well-being of those who were harmed by these mining zones. Um, and I would have liked to hear a little bit more about that, and I also would have liked to hear a little bit more narrative examples, um, talking a little bit more about companies like Intel. Um, Jake's counter-argument um, that he made was the argument that I made, essentially, and I think that his refuting of the claim is not necessarily just. I don't think it's um, you know 100% based off of... Um, I don't want to say logic, but um, based off of total fact and reason, um, he says that the rebel groups still pose the same threat as before, which, um, you know, the video did talk about that, but I don't think that that's necessarily a trend, um, nor, nor do I think it's something that's very long term. I think that right now um, we need to build off the peace building effort and not kind of go back on it. Um, and so although it appears to be the case now that, um, you know, some certain rebel groups are, are gaining stronger um, control over the mines, I don't think that that's um, necessarily going to be a problem that becomes resolved unless we actually focus on, you know, making conf uh, conflict-free mines um, focus, a focus of, you know, getting resources and such. Um, his argument did, I think, strengthen my argument a little bit because the argument that he made really didn't consider any long-term implications, and I think that any argument that would topple mine would have to. Um, so because of the lack of attention in the long term, I think my argument became somewhat strengthened, actually.